Greetings, I am Ra. Now, as your ascension completes itself, you will have greater access to the multi-dimensional aspects of yourselves. In truth, for some of you, the ascension has, for the most part, already occurred in terms of being multi-dimensional. This rising from one level of consciousness to another is the only ascension that you will ever experience. No man can lift you to the level you desire. The power to ascend is within yourself. It is your consciousness that I am sure you already know. I am Ra. Now, isolation can transform you. When you are isolated from the outside world, you are giving yourself an opportunity to experience the silent stillness of your spirit. But you must first come face to face with your own inner reality. That is, you come to terms with your own thoughts, emotions and core beliefs about what reality means to you. Freedom is realized through letting go of thoughts, emotions and beliefs and accepting true reality as it is offered you by the Creator. Another note and another name for more meditation so important. Why and who doesn't want to be free? Not a single soul truly desires enslavement except as an experiment in creating lack and limitation. The soul knows freedom unlike its incarnations. It is constantly in a state of creation where an infinity of universes are created and uncreated with effortless ease. I am Ra. Deep-seated changes and transformation have occurred for those who have been dedicated to following their inner light that follows a path of personal truth. You have faced the illusion of separation. You have broken the beliefs and patterns that kept you chained to thoughts and beliefs of lack and fear. You have reconnected with inner knowing and from this place have begun to create new patterns and beliefs based on the ancient teachings of your world. The teachings of love, truth, respect, honor and peace. You have truly begun to remember who you are and why you are here. Well done, well done. At this level, you are able to see how the influence of your transformation affects the larger community. The ultimate, ultimate effect of healing yourselves can transform our world when you are willing to strive for personal mastery. In this way, we as humanity can begin to fulfill your true potential as custodians of divine wisdom and love on your planet. The infinite potential of ourselves and you is being reached and your inner gifts are ready to be shared with the world. Allowing them to manifest in your life is the task at present. For those who welcome change and improvement, know that it can be a peaceful transition to a new state of being, 
which does not have to involve dissension or separation. Those who do not appear to be as conscious are doing the best they can. Separation and an us versus them attitude is not in alignment with the changes we hope to see. Neither is forecasting they will suffer in any way because they are unwilling to see things from another point of view. How is that different from the status quo? How can those ushering in a new world speak of seeing the old overturned through unfavorable circumstances? Peace cannot be achieved through conflict. We cannot fight against whether it be through open conflict or simply by derision or super, superiority. This only exacerbates separation. So how can we expect unity? The only way to facilitate this shift is to truly embody the truth that we are all one. Yes, I repeat, we are all one. Today, we are on the upswing from this way of thinking. The idea of hard work and toil are becoming outmoded. This is because of the increasing energies of truth that are being beamed into the hearts of minds of humanity. They are being taken back to the beginnings of their life on planet Earth. And they are revisiting their origins in all there is concerning emotions and feelings. They are being shown the egoistic ideas that they have nurtured and bound to them throughout their lifetimes. At the same time, they are seeing and remembering the truth of sovereignty that accompanied them when they first came to earth and embodied in the humans that were created for this purpose. I am Ra. Remember that we are all in this together. You are at the time when the circle closes and the new way of being begins again in a way that is birthed from the realization of what it means to live a cycle of earth life in amnesia. As you all remember that this is the end of a cycle and that you are beginning to remember that which you forgot you are capable of. You are also remembering that all is worth having is here already. It is right there within a moment's realization and as you know this, you also know that to work hard for something is honorable if you desire to do that for the experience it brings you, for the feelings of adventure and of delight in the doing. We come to wish with the sure knowledge that all is in a near state of readiness and that the planet Lady Guy and Mother Earth are waiting patiently for you, beloved friends. Ready yourselves for the swift, uplifting surge of energies that are now forthcoming as the ensuing concurrent waves of love and purity continue to caress and bless the planet and all upon and within her in order to hope to fully enlightened ascended masters and bring about a planetary ascension. You must live as if you are that to which you aspire in order to become a living master. You must act like one in order to raise your frequency of consciousness and body to accommodate this divine outcome. And how do you act like an ascended master? In every situation in your lives, the thoughts and attitudes we adapt and act out determine the 
frequency level you are capable of anchoring in your bodies. If you indulge in ju judgment and blame, for example, your higher selves cannot dwell in your bodies because your frequency will be too low. If you identify with being a victim, being spiritually superior, lust-based sexuality, distrust or any other lower frequency state of being, your frequency is not conducive to anchoring in your bodies. The light will not be there. And in order to be living ascended master, it is necessary to embody your higher selves. I am present divine light bodies known as Ka, your God, Goddess selves, or whatever else you may wish to call it. Embodying divinity is accomplished by purification and raising frequency cellularly in every chakra and in your emotional, mental, physical, etheric, spiritual and astral bodies. This is accomplished by living in healthy ways on all levels and by shifting our identity from the little ego self to the divine self. And that is quite simple, really. I am Ra, Do, don't estimate your, underestimate your ability to make things happen. You are a creative being and are capable of bringing about the changes you wish to see in your life. You don't have to wait for others to change or for the life to bring you what you want. You can go out there and create it. Although your energy levels might not be at their highest, you can use this quiet time to become clear about what works for you and what doesn't. Then it's just a case of waiting for the opportune moment to get moving in your chosen direction. And that moment will be here sooner than you think. So don't waste any more time on regrets or thoughts of what might have been. Steer your attention towards the here and now and squeeze every drop of enjoyment out of it. Step up onto your new earth now. I thank you. I am Ra for being here listening to this, my messages tonight. I hope it has been of assistance to you. This is all I meant it to be. I send you wishes, I send you love, and thank you once more. Ah, Rosalie speaking, thank you Ra. I really love you, I'm so glad that you could come here and give these messages via me today, tonight. So thank you everyone from Rosalie. I really, really love you for being here and I hope it has been of some, some assistance to you. Bless you all, love you all, namaste.